Uh, hey there guys, um, well, after quite a lot of prattling around with um, power supplies and such today, I managed to, I managed to sort of kill this again. Oh, do you know, this power supply, every time I try and get it to give me some power, it just kills it. Uh, so anyway, uh, forget that for now. I want a little variable power supply, uh, so I built one. <laughs> uh, this is my power coming in. If I clump this down, it makes a circuit. So I've got AC coming into my little transformer here. This transformer is connected onto my little bridge rectifier. Uh, you see that, see where the connections are, so I've got a, one side of the transformer goes to this part of the rectifier, this one goes to this part here, this junction, uh, and then I come off uh, here and here, and this is going to indicate the positive, indicate the negative, and it's in line with a couple of capacitors. Um, this voltage then uh, comes across here. Uh, it's, it's only jumper to, to here, so I can get into it easily. I suppose really I could take some of this out, but it's literally just jumpered. Uh, this is the negative side, which is the white wire here. Positive is the yellow. And it's just jumpered here, so I can get another attachment to ground. Um, from the input pin there, from the, uh, my, my positive of the power supply, goes to the input of the uh, 317 I've got a little resistor here 510 uh, ohms between the output and the adjust you can use uh, you know 12180 or 1k in between on there um, and then from the adjust pin to the center of the pot and then from the well, facing me, it's the left, but if it was facing the other side, it'd be the right. I don't think it matters, actually, either side. Well, it will matter, because if I turn down, it goes down. If I turn up, if I had this the other way around, if I turned up, it would go down. If I turned down, it would go up. So, from here, that goes, just goes to ground. And all I've done as well is I've just taken off from ground here to another little tiny, a um, uh, little smoothing capacitor there. I can't remember what size that is. It's not very big. Oh, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a thousand mic, I think. Yeah, it is. Uh, um, and then I got my outputs. So that little IC, that's just a little op amp. Um, I'm gonna have a little play around with that um, and see about doing some controlling with that. It's only because I've looked at the red that it, you can. And this wire here is absolutely nothing to do with it. So I just got my two outputs then negative side of the capacitor here positive side of the capacitor here um, and that's going off to the you can't see that that's going off to this uh, this area multimeter come here oh god I've been looking at it not so over now it's coming, I need to tidy up this bench it wasn't like this earlier on I've tidied it up twice today um, but it's just got messy again so and that's going to that uh, multimeter and I've also got this little um, this little clock timer kit thing uh, connected and I had my scope connected because I just wanted to see how dirty the output was um, and that's why I put the capacitor in because there was a little bit and I've managed to clean it up just by checking that capacitor in so yeah really chuffed so here we go then I'm just going uh, to flip down the power oh well in actual fact I thought I'd killed this because I wired it the wrong way around I wired it the same as what I would do for just a um, um, 7805, uh, 7809 regulator, which is here. Um, and so I had that in, I thought I'd knackered it. So I kicked it out and put another one on the heat sink and put it in. And it works fine, so I've just checked it. Um, let's just make sure they're on the right pins, yep. And yeah, the one that I thought I'd killed, because it wasn't, it wasn't working, it wasn't performing. Um, let it cool down and it all it all fixes again so yeah pretty chill 
So what I'm going to do now then is I'm just going to flick down this and as you'll see we go straight to the, the reference voltage 1.2, 1.26 and I'm going to turn it up there and you should see as it comes up 4 volts, well we haven't got this connected um, I was expecting to see um, I was expecting to see this come on uh, but if I just plug that in now it doesn't normally make that noise probably because it needs a little bit more than three and a half volts to work and so there we go it's come on it's a bit annoying this thing is because it's got no battery backup and so as soon as you just pull the power just it starts at 10 10 every time as well uh, don't really know why I'm sorry if I keep not sh seeing the video um, in the camera it says I've got it in my hand but it's the easiest way to see it so I can use this little uh, this little adjustment here and as you see it it will go up but don't turn it too quick and go up eee. this uh, little clock can only take up to 12 volts um, and we can turn it back down again and down it goes and that clock should have gone out there we go so the, the clock's on now the interesting thing about this is if I take this off from this little power supply here the AC comes in if I use this green one in here I've got 7 volts if I use this green one in this one I've got 7 volts if I use these two I've got 14 volts and of course when you convert it into DC you think you'd lose uh, your voltage a bit but no because watch I should have 14 volts tops if I turn this up oh there you go you think we should be stopping around about now but oh no let's just keep going and up we go we all the way to 17.6 volts awesome oh, let's take that back down again there you go that's I mean that's oh, I can't believe how easy that was that's a uh, real simple little circuit and it works great and in a minute I'm going to put another little circuit on it so I can charge a battery with it just for something to do um, basically if you didn't have this little AC part here you literally just have a, another power supply that you connect onto this dead simple the schematics on the uh, TI website and it's just really simple to put forward to put together that's my first variable power supply because I couldn't get this one to work <laughs> cheers for watching guys take care bye